Alright, welcome to Hot Paws Unboxed. Today we're looking at the Casio S10 cash register. This is the entry level thermal printing cash register in the Casio range. The thermal printing allows you to put your business name, ABN number and address details on the receipt. This is an entry level machine for basic low end retail, florists, giftware shops, anywhere you need to do basic reporting and, um, and monetary control. As with all Casio cash registers it comes with a full 12 month warranty and we're going to be reading today from the uh, Hot Pos Help website setup guide that all Hot Pos customers have access to. You simply just need to email us to get access to the hotposhelp.com.au website. There is also the quick setup guide start um, operation portion of the manual. Uh, it's on page 8. It begins through to page 13 in the Casio S10 manual and describes the setup in full. Okay, so we've taken the machine out of the box. We're first going to start with um, our paper, which is the first part for any cash register installation. We pop the paper in by removing the paper cover over the printer. If you just have a look around the back here, you'll notice there's a little lip at the back. We just pull that forward and up, and that comes off. We place that to the side. I'll just move that around. We have now the paper cover arm. We just pull that up like so. This thermal paper machine with the paper it just drops into the cavity at the bottom. There's no need to feed it through anything. It's important that the paper feeds from underneath, not over the top like so. So we simply drop that into the cavity, we make sure the paper's poking out the front, and we close the lid. Alright, at this stage you can take your paper cover and just feed the top of the paper through the cover like so, and it goes back down by going front first into two little lips at the front, and the back just simply clicks down. Now when we start up our Casio cash register, you'll notice there is a zero flashing on the display and there is a menu that prints out of the cash register. This is the first part of the setup. We basically just need to follow the instructions as they appear. The first instruction is asking you to choose the language, uh, in this case English, and it says press zero and cash for English. So we simply press zero on our keypad and cash. We then take them to the next option which is setting the date. We simply put in today's date in, and it does explain on the printout day day, month month, year year. So if we put in a date, let's say 1008.11 it then moves you to setting up the time. It's 24 hour time so if we assume it's 11 o'clock today we type in 11, zero, zero. All right, that will now initialize the machine for the settings we made. The next step is to turn to page 13 in the manual, which is downloadable from the Hot Pods Help website. The only part that really interests us is option five on here for Australia only. We simply need to enter the settings as they appear on the guide. To do that, we turn the key to the Z position, which is marked on our key lock here. We move the key right round to Z, and then we enter the numbers as they appear. So we go 0, 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 0, 1, subtotal, cash. This basically presets up your cash register for Australian GST. The next step is to allocate which of your five department buttons here will have GST. Typically most shops will set up four categories for GST departments and maybe leave one as a non-GST department. They are all non-GST as default out of the box. So to set up the GST department we again turn to our manual and we're now looking at page 12 of the manual. In the bottom section here, under the example, it says add a percentage to a department and we just follow those steps. In this case in Australia, obviously we have a 10% GST 
and we're going to put 10% onto 4 out of our 5 departments. Mm -hmm. So to do that, we first have our key in the program position, which is down to the left. We then press our tax programming button, which is just located at the top of the keypad in between error correct and clear. You'll notice that now it says TP on the display for tax programming. So we enter 10 for department 1, 10 for department 2, 10 for department 3, and 10 for department 4. We then press subtotal to finalise, and our cash register is ready to go. The next step will be showing you some basic operations for the cash register. And now we're going to explain the basic use and operation for the Casio S10 cash register. First of all, you'll notice we have our operation key here. This goes to every position on the key lock. All register operations are done in the reg position. You'll know you're in the reg position um, when it shows 0.00, .00 on the display and just make sure the key is firmly in the register position. We can then simply start entering a price and allocating that to a department. So for our store, let's pretend we're selling food and drinks. Food is on department one, drinks are on department two. We get a food item for five dollars, we enter five double zero and press department one for food. You'll notice I did not use the decimal point as with all cash registers, including this one, you do not use decimal point at all at any time. It's purely for programming options. Next step, we're going to sell a drink for three dollars fifty. We type three five zero and press department two. At that stage, if that's the total of the customer's order, we simply press subtotal, which gives you a total on the display eight dollars fifty. If the customer gives you a twenty dollar note, we simply enter two zero double zero. And cash. At this stage, the receipt will print out for the customer, the cash drawer will open, and the change is displayed on the screen for your customer. Next, we're going to do a void function or error correct function. This is if you make a mistake on the cash register. Let's pretend in that last example we've entered in the wrong amount against department one. Let's say in this case, we meant to enter $6, although we previously entered $5. So we go 5, double zero, department 1. Realise that we did not want to enter $5 against department 1. We simply press the error correct button. And you'll notice now it says minus 5 on the display. It basically removed the last item you registered. If we press subtotal, we can prove that it's now on zero. We now enter the correct amount to department 1, $6, and department 1. We subtotal again, we can see the total of the sale is $6. If the person gives you the exact amount of money, rather than entering a dollar amount, you can simply press cash and the receipt will print out print the printer and no change to be given. So the next step in setting up our cash register is programming the optional description buttons on our departments. This is explained in page 31 of the manual. To do this, we turn our key around to program and we enter the description programming mode by entering 2 then subtotal. We then press the department we want to program, in this case department 1, we're going to make food. We press department 1. You'll notice on the front part of each of the keys are letters used for the description programming. Um, little key point to remember as we'll show you in food here. If there are two letters the same as in the O and O in the middle of food, there's a little right arrow button at the bottom underneath the double zero to move you along to the next letter. Otherwise it's programmed in the same fashion as a mobile phone to access the third letter, you press the button three times. So we're going to use food, so food is the third letter on button nine, and so we press that three times. And you'll notice F comes up on our display. This O1 here tells us that we're on the first letter. Then we're going to go to O on button six, third letter, one, two, three. And because we need O again, we press the right arrow, and then O again, one, two, three, and then back to D under the nine, one. When we're finished, we press cash, and subtotal will finish. And you'll notice you'll get food printing out on the next line. 
So next we're going to put uh, drinks onto department 2. Just flick the key away from program, flick it back to program, enter 2 subtotal once again, and we're going to press department 2, and we're going to enter the word drinks using the same method as before. We press D for drinks, R, which is the second letter, underneath 37, and then sorry, third letter, my apologies, and then I, one, two, three, and then N, one, two, and then K, one, two, and then S, one, two, three, four. Cash to finish, subtotal to finalise, we now have drinks programmed on department number two. All right, now we're going to explain how to program your receipt message on the top of your receipt, which might be your business name, ABN number, and the words tax invoice. We're just going to show you the first line of how to do that, and then the rest of the lines work in the same fashion. In our example, we'll be using shop ABC as the store name, going on line one of the receipt header message. To do this, we need to turn the key around to the program position, like so. We enter description programming mode, which is to subtotal. This is all explained, of course, on page 32 of the manual, which is downloadable from the Hot Pause Help website. After entering that mode, we need to select the line of the receipt we wish to program. There are five lines available on top of the receipt. We select number one, and then press check on the right-hand side. If we're doing line two, the step would be two check, line three, three check, and so forth. Now we're going to program the description shop ABC by using the numerical uh, buttons here that have letters on the front face. Um, again, they're programmed like a mobile phone. If you need to access the third letter, you press the button three times. You can also use the forward arrow on the double zero to move to the next letter to program. Okay, so shop ABC, S is located under the seven on the fourth letter, one, two, three, four. H under the four second letter and then O, and then P, and then we're going to put a space. You'll notice here we're up to letter 4. If we press arrow once, it would be 5, and we want to skip that and go to 6 to leave a space on character 5. And now we type in our name A, B, C. A, B, C. You'll notice if the letters are on the same button, we use the forward arrow to move to the next uh, letter after we use the button. We then press cache to finish and subtotal to finalise. And shop ABC will now appear on the top of our receipt. The final part of our Hot Pause Help tutorial will be just how to print an end of day report on your Casio S10 cash register. Very simple operation. We take our key, we move it around to the Z position on the key lock, which is as far as it will go around to the right hand side. The Z position is located here. We simply press cache, the cache drawer opens, and out comes your daily Z report. This will show you the totals you've got for your sales categories. In our example we used food and drinks. It will show you your gross sales, net sales, cash in draw, which is your balancing figure, the taxable sales, the GST and any rounding.